Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here. In, in Matthew 7, 21, Jesus says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father which is in heaven. And on that day, talking about judgment day, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many mighty works in your name? And I will say to them, depart from me, you evil ones, for I never knew you. And how do we understand this verse? Because it's a powerful verse of warning, but we also know verses like the Apostle Paul in Romans 10, 13, where he says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How do, how do we mix these two competing thoughts where Jesus says, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. And Paul says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So first thing is the context of these verses. Uh, in Matthew 7, uh, this is immediately after Jesus talks about false prophets. People who uh, say they're one thing and do another. He says, you know, you can't have a good tree bearing bad fruit and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. And, and so he's really in, still continuing this conversation about false prophets, about people who say they represent God but don't represent God. Okay, so that's the context there. Uh, and, and what I think he's saying is uh, surrendering to Jesus is what changes our life not just saying that we're followers of Jesus. And then Romans 10, 13, the Apostle Paul uh, is saying, hey, look, this is how you enter into a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Uh, and, but just because you speak the words doesn't make it happen. In other words, you really actually have to surrender to Jesus. You have to give him control of your life. You have to rely upon him to forgive you of your sins so that he's your Savior and Lord. Um, and Jesus is warning about people who are calling themselves prophets when they aren't. Uh, he's warning about people who self-identify as Christians and they're not. Uh, I went to China on a mission trip. I've actually been there four times on mission trips. And one of the things that you can do in China is you can buy a coach purse for $15. Do you think that's really a coach purse? No, it's not a coach purse. It's a fake. It's a knockoff. It says coach. It looks like a coach purse. But guess what? You bring that back into the country and customs will stop and, and they'll confiscate that purse and take it away because it's a knockoff. Now, they don't really care if you have one. They care if you have 50. And people do that trying to rip people off and make money selling fake coach purses. Well, that's the concept here. Jesus is saying you can fool everybody else but it's not about your activities. It's not about your self-sewn-on labels. It's not about how good you look to other people in what you're doing. It is about the relationship you have with Jesus. Notice what he says at the end. Depart from me, you evil ones. I never knew you. See, that's why we talk about a life-changing relationship with Jesus. And we want you to have a relationship with the Son of God, the Savior of the world, that has transformed your life, and you know Jesus, and Jesus knows you. I hope that helps you understand this passage, and I hope that that gives you confidence because you know Jesus as your Savior. Have a great day.